Neil from Essex here to answer a common question here for you this morning. Should you or should you not take the time to remove the loader from your tractor before going to cut the grass? Essex, a helping hand with your land. For a number of years, we've given the advice that you should remove this loader from the tractor when you go to cut your grass. That's for several reasons. When you have a, a tractor you're driving around on your lawn, the more weight that you've got on that tractor, the more ruts you're going to leave in the lawn, the more you're going to compact the grass, none of which are good things. It's also good for your tractor's tires. If you need to cut your grass in four-wheel drive, your four-wheel drive is going to have a lead on those front tires. The transmission of your tractor is actually set up that the front tires spin a little bit faster than what the back tires do. That lead causes those tires to wear a little bit more quickly in the front than the ones in the back. And if you have all the additional weight from this loader sitting on top of those tires while you're making all of those turns back and forth in your lawn, you're also wearing down the tread in your front tires more than what's necessary, right? If you take that loader off, you gotta let less weight pushing down on there. Given that advice for years, but now we actually have the tools to test this a little bit. So we're going to take the tractor here and pull up onto this set of scales. We're going to measure the amount of weight that we have sitting on top of these front tires. And then we're going to go through and remove the bucket from the loader and also the loader from the tractor and see the impact on the weight on those front tires. It's going to be an interesting test. Check it out here. We, anytime we go through and do measurements on loaders and we have actual tools to check this stuff out, it's always interesting to see the results. They're often not what you think because the geometries that are happening on a loader impact the results in interesting ways. So we're going to start here kind of getting our reference point. So start the tractor up here, pull up onto the scales. and get a measurement. So at this point right here, this is telling me we have 1,450 pounds sitting on top of that combination of front tires. That's a significant amount of weight, especially when you go through and think about how small the contact patch is underneath those tires, right? Your PSI, your pressure on the ground is surprisingly high. So now we're gonna pop the bucket off of the loader. Now I know many, many people who choose to mow by simply taking the loader bucket off, right? It shortens this thing up by about a good 18 inches or so, and the skin steer coupler is a piece of cake to operate and take on and off. So we'll see how much impact this actually has on our weight measurement. So without our bucket on here, we're gonna pull back up onto our scales again and see what the impact is of removing that bucket. Now we were at 1,450 pounds before, and if I look here now, sitting on top of the scales, I'm riding right about 1,150 pounds. So by removing that bucket, we've removed 300 pounds from sitting on top of the tires. Now, the interesting thing about this is that bucket doesn't weigh 300 pounds. It's about 150. And it, you see here the implications, the impact of that load sitting way out beyond the front tires. It pulls the weight of that tractor forward and has a greater impact on the weight that's actually sitting on top of the tires than the weight of the bucket itself. So it has that amplifying factor by being further away from the tractor. So yeah, you're actually, by removing the bucket, you're doing quite a bit of good, right? You've removed but nearly 25% or so from the weight that's sitting on top of the tires. But I suspect that removing the entire loader is going to do a lot more good. Now that's not hard, is it? I'm sure it goes just as quickly when you do it. <laughs> If I pull back up onto my scales here without that loader, I now have a meager 780 pounds sitting on top of those front tires. So it's interesting when we actually start putting tested numbers to advice, right? This is actually a greater difference than what I was expecting to see. You have basically half the weight sitting on front of these front tires by taking the time to remove that loader. And that difference of basically 700 pounds or so is 
more or less double the difference of what this loader actually weighs, right? That's that amplifying effect of so much of the mass and the weight of this loader hanging out in front of the tractor, right? It's pulling weight from the rear of the machine and kind of centering it over top of that front axle. And with all that weight on that front axle on the small contact patch of those front tires, what are you doing? You're rutting things up, you're wearing your tires quicker than what you need to, you're compacting your lawn more than what's necessary. So I give the advice here, right? Take the time to pause before you go out and mow that grass, remove the loader from the tractor, you're gonna be happy for it in the long run. So if you're shopping for a piece of equipment and we can help, or if you've got parts and service needs for a machine you've already got, give us a call at Messix. We're available at 800-222-3373 or online at messix.com. Bother to remove your bucket or your loader from your tractor when going to mow the grass. Mow the grass! All right.